Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Foothills Art Center Facebook page. Uh, I'm Janet Nunn, and I'm here to show you how to paint a few little note cards. We have had some technical difficulties, but I think we've got it under control now. And with that being said, I'm going to turn my camera so I can do the things that I am very good at, and that is painting. So today, we are going to paint a few little note cards. And I say note cards, but on some of these, I just did a small piece of paper. And I wanted to keep the things small because you can have these around the house and uh, you can locate a lot of the supplies that you'll need. And the one thing that I started with, well, these little pieces of paper, um, I started with just a regular sheet of watercolor paper and I took a little bit of tape and I taped around it. Um, the reason why I tape around is because I can get a nice border. And hopefully. Just slow down and let people get in. Okay. They're all coming back in. Sorry about this, guys. You're good, though. You're definitely good. Okay, good. Yay. Thank you. Well, everybody's coming in. I'm just taping right now. I'm not painting yet. I'm just taping. And what we're going to start with is this little guy. Can you see my name? Mm, yes, you're good. Okay, good. Okay. Maybe just shift your camera a little bit. See your shot. It's too high? No, it just needs to go show more of the left side. How's that? Let's see it. Better, much better. Okay, is that better? Yeah. Okay. It'll be okay. Yeah, much better. So, what we're going to start with are a few of these little cards, now that we're kind of going. Um, I kind of set out a supply list, and one of the things we do with watercolors is we have um, a kind of a way to save the white of the paper. A lot of times you use mask and stuff like this, but we're using masking tape. And we're going to make these wonderful trees is how we're going to start. So. With that being said, I'm not going to put the whole masking tape down. I'm just going to tear and get little tree shapes. And one of the things I want to do is just get a few trees down there. That's kind of a nice skinny one. And this is a little bit fatter. But this is the make ready part of doing some of these little pieces. And they're perfect when we're contained like this because you it doesn't take very long for you to do them. And a lot of these supplies you might have around the house. Okay, here's my, here's my last tree here. He's kind of cute. So once I get all of my tree shapes down, um, I'm going to go in and complete a background. And the way I get to do that, it's kind of fun. I am going to take um, some wax paper. Uh, you don't have wax paper. Parchment paper works really good. If you don't have parchment paper, you can use plastic wrap. I like the wax paper because it kind of gives uh, some weird shapes in there. And usually you only use wax paper when you're baking a lot, but a lot of us have been baking a lot. And so there's my piece of wax paper. So you, you can get your wax paper, go get that, and I'll let that set for a minute. Then we need the paint. And what I'm going to use for paint is, I like this uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's liquid watercolor. Now, if you don't have those and you're mixing your watercolors, you got to start mixing some magenta. That's going to be your first one. Then you also want to mix some phthalo blue. There's another one. And then from there, the last one is ultramarine. So I have some really neat colors that will blend well together. Oops, get that ultramarine out. Okay. So now that we have this done, 
comes the fun part. I'm gonna take this little bit of wax paper, dip it, and start dipping it on here. And just kind of dip. That's working out pretty good. And then I'm gonna have these little splotches, but one of the things that's gonna help me make these splotches uh, add dimension is I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Now, if you don't have a mister like this, this is an olive oil mister, you can take a little thing of water, put your hand in it, and you can make your own mister like that, which is kind of fun. You're gonna get these blobs of water and then you're gonna get some blobs of paint. And that's what we want because water is the catalyst for watercolors. It just makes everything work good. So now I have some water on there. I had some dry on there and I am just creating this wonderful, beautiful background. So there we go. That was easy. Didn't take very long, I love it. So, oops. I'm just gonna take a tissue and clear off some of my taped edges that we've done. And I have a few little blobs of water because I have an angle on my uh, table here. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the tape that we had as a resist. So, here we go. And all of a sudden, that beautiful background that was all over the paper just went to the back of the page. I love that when that happens. So now we have these three stark lines and we wanna create trees and add some depth to them. So I'm gonna go back to my trusty little water and just take your finger in it, just like this. Start at the bottom, and I'm going on the left side of the tree. Um, hopefully I am going the right directions. Oh good, yay. There we go. And adding just a little bit of water. And you can tell some of the trees are just kind of uh, blending in to the okay. paint. Someone's asking just blue and magenta so far. Blue magenta, there was also ultramarine, just a little bit of ultramarine. And I'm just gonna take my finger and dip it into the phthalo blue that I had and just move it along that area that I just had wet with my finger and just gonna kind of come right along there. Ooh, I kind of lost a little bit of that tree, but everything's always fixable, yay. So, now I have these trees and they have a little bit more shape to them because I added um, this little section there of shadow. And it really creates the tree to be a little bit more round. Now, the next thing we have to do is I have a lot of water in here and a lot of water in there. One thing you can do is just let it dry. Or in my case, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna keep painting. Um, I'm gonna do the next part of this. I'm gonna add the rows in the trees and come across there. So there's a couple of colors you can use. You could use um, a sepia, which is a nice color. And I'm just gonna, put it down in this little line. Another color is Payne's Gray. I like Payne's Gray, it works really well here with that. And then if you don't have any of those, you could always use black. And I'm not at all opposed to using black. So hopefully everybody's kind of in line with what we're doing and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little plastic card. This one was from Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. You can use your credit card, your King Supers card. You can use a little bit of everything, but you just wanna have a card that has an edge. 
Um, you could also use a piece of a map board. So you have lots of choices that you can use. Um, I made lines in my uh, paint when I put it down and the lines help me when I use this credit card. And I'm just gonna take it here and I'm just gonna kind of come over here and just move it around. And I used, this is that Payne's Gray. And what it does is it makes the trees for you. You already have the shadow in there and it just makes the trees for you. So I'm gonna do it again. Let's see if I can get this one going. There we go. Ooh, I like that one. That's turning out much better. Get it all the way up to the top. And even though I had lost it, I came, came back in with it as I was uh, moving around. Okay, so here's this one. Here's this one. And so what it, what it has is a lot of these trees have this nice little bark that's just been eaten away. And that's what the credit card does for us. Then while you have the credit card, you might as well just make a few branches. So we'll just kind of come out here and pull the branches up and just come around here. And one can go over the other. If you run out of stuff, just reload. And mine's still pretty wet, but I do have kind of a nice painting. So the other thing I want to do is just, it's still a little wet, but with each one of these paintings, I'm going to try to at least finish them off before starting on the next one. And so I'm going to take off this tape that I had put on there, just like that. And here we go. And once I take off the tape, I want to just put a little edge around it because right now it's kind of hard to go to the frame store and frame these. But what we can do is make our own frames with what we have. I just took a regular ruler and a little Sharpie. And I'm going to go around the edge of my painting and frame it all the way around. It's still really, really wet. If you want to do this, you might want to wait till it dries a little bit, but I'm just going to make a little frame for this. Keep coming around and moving it around. And a frame just brings your eye into the main part of the painting, and that is really good. We're cooking now, I love this. So, framed it around, it brings your eye into it, then go ahead and sign it, and voila, there you go. We have this wonderful little painting of trees, and there's something in the background, there's light, there's snow, and in my case, it's probably snow, because it's snowing out there today. So, there's our first little adventure. I thought that was kind of fun. Now, um, pardon? Okay. Okay, now, I'm gonna go to another painting that we were talking of doing. And um, these are our winter trees. We haven't done, we might as well do fall trees because fall trees are just so much fun. And um, this is a really nice way of doing a fall tree. And we're gonna use the same equipment that we used last time. Um, we're gonna start with a few different colors. This time I'm going to use some Hansi Yellow Light. Oops. 
You get a new tray out too. Might as well just go for the gusto here. This is gonna be that nice light area in our fall colors. Pardon? Oh, okay, good. Tip is helping me so I can see what you guys are seeing and it makes it so much easier because what I'm doing is I'm just painting away, having a good time. And this helps me to see what you guys are doing in terms of what you're being able to see on my stuff. Okay, so I have those guys. Uh, that will be this part of it. And then um, the second part is uh, I got to have the, the tree trunks. And I'm going to go back to this line that I had of Payne's Gray or Sepia that I used in the last lesson. And I'm going to use that too. So to start with, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take another piece of black paper. Spray is the whole thing. Spray is the whole Okay. And we don't need the ruler. Really. Okay. So I'm going to use this one up and down. I don't need that. And let me just move everything around that I don't need. And so I'm taking and scrunching up this guy. And coming here, there's my lightest part of the tree. There's my darker part of the tree right there. The foliage I'm talking about, and maybe there's the lighter one. So now I take my water mister and just mist. And every time I add water, the paint just mixes together and it's so cool. All of a sudden I have this wonderful foliage. It's just going all over the place, which is really good. There. Now, I need the tree trunks. Can't forget the tree trunks. Switching cards. That one was all dirty. Okay, here's that sepia. Gotta get it in there. What I'm gonna do is just kind of think about, okay, Instead of sticking it smack dab in the middle, I'm gonna use more of a placement on my rule of thirds line. So I'm gonna put it over here on the third part of the paper and I'm just gonna stick it down and look, I have a tree. The rest of the tree you don't really see because there's so much foliage. It's just great, I love it. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here to my other third line and I'm just gonna come here and see how I'm just pressing across Look at that. And then one of the trees fell. So, you know, gotta give it a little oomph. And they're just misting all together. And then look, I've got a few little branches. That I'm using with the edge of the card. And here, come give it back. Get that guy all the way down there. And there. Oh, I also meant to say, if you're going live on uh, Facebook, you can you go into the comment section if you have some questions and stuff while I'm uh, doing some of these lessons and you can ask me a few questions. Now, I just love the way this is just all mixing. It's just going very nicely. And I didn't have to do too much. A lot of people, um, this would be perfect to send someone a card later on. And uh, you're making all your cards now. I mean, why not make all these cards you're gonna need for the rest of the year? So here's your fall card. We've done the winter card. And we'll do kind of a summer card too of some trees. But I love the way this just mixes. It just really works together. And like I said before, 
even though it's wet, I want to finish off um, these cards so that you have a chance to see what it looks like when it has a frame around it. So this is really wet. I'm going to have to be very careful here. And I think I got it. I'm just going to just going to kind of really go around the edge and every time I get to the tree I'm going to stop my pen and then start it and stop it and start it till I get to the edge and that grounds the trees look at that all of a sudden the trees just look oh wow they're just doing good and then I'm really wet on the edge so I'm just going to come to the edge of this without getting it into the image come right over here oh, yeah edge it again hopefully you guys are able to do some of this stuff and I'm not going too terribly fast but even if not you know if you're done watching all your TV programs you don't have anything to do break out the paints this is fun stuff Get a whole assembly line going. You can make a gazillion cards. We have Easter coming up. We have Mother's Day coming up. Uh, you have, you know, Fourth of July. You got lots of stuff coming up. You might need a card to send. There. And with that being said, sign your name and voila. What the wax paper does when it mixes with the water, it gives you that airy space. So it looks like you're looking into the leaves and the tree leaves, which is really nice. Okay, now um, I'm gonna move this guy aside and I'm gonna come to our last one. How does that one look? I might have to... Right there, yeah. Am I there? Yeah. There you go. Or I can move it closer. I'll leave it right where you are. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. We're going to, um, this third one um, that we're using, I thought it would be really nice if um, we had some greenery in there. But this time I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. Okay, here we go. I'm getting too close to it, it needs to be out here. Um, this one I'm gonna change up a little bit. I told everybody if they had a basting brush, that we are gonna use that. The basting brush is the best tool for a painter because it is washable. And if you need to use it for mask, you can use it for mask, but it makes great foliage. You'd be surprised how nice the foliage is. So that's what we're gonna use in this next one uh, to create some of that foliage. So I have my piece of paper right there. And this time, I'm gonna take my colors. I still have some of these colors left over so I could use those. But what I need to do is I'm gonna add some sap green and maybe some phthalo green. Okay. There we go. Ooh, I was making a mess there. Okay, sap green, phthalo green. Um, I put a little water on this brush just to kind of get it going. And I'm basting. This is the most fun you're gonna have all day. It's just, it kind of, how can you not smile when you're basting? You can get these brushes at the grocery store, the dollar store, wherever. They're just so fun to do. Here we go. So I've got my light, my medium, my dark in there, but now I'm gonna add my green because, you know, we gotta have some green in there. And the green mixes with all these colors and you get all this other stuff happening. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of my water and mist it. I love that. 
And then I'm got, I've got to miss, I got to baste some more. You're going to have so much fun basting. You're not, yeah, it's just going to be really nice. So I've got a few trees that maybe their branches came out to the top. And notice how you just kind of move the brush sideways in this way. And if you need a little bit more water, there. Yay! When it works, it works. And when it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. So this time, I'm going to add some tree trunks to these wonderful green trees, just like we did before. Uh, it looks like I still have a little bit of this Haynes Gray. So you kind of just scrunch it in there, and I'm going to do a few tree trunks. And sometimes they're straight, and sometimes they're sideways. And that's pretty even. Let's make this one a little fatter then. And then I'll put another one here. I always like to try to get at least an odd number. That's four right there. And maybe I'll make five over here. Bring that down. And then guess what? They need a few branches that go into the trees. And I love the way that's just working together. It's working really, really nice. Let me get some more of that tree trunk down there. You can always go back and just add a little bit more. And the way the water and the paint is going, it's just all blending together. It's working out really, really well. Okay, so. Today, we've done a few of these, but Really, the difference between the basting brush and the wax paper is not that much, but with the basting brush, you can be a little bit more uh, controlled. Some people, when they're painting with watercolor, like to be controlled. Others, we don't care. But the basting brush offers a lot of fun things. Foliage, it makes lots of great um, grasses. Oh, just lots and lots of stuff. So. Here we go again. We want to finish that off. Oh, and look at that. See the blending of the colors? They're just going together so nicely. Just working out well. Uh, someone's asking how they get Doc Martin paints. Oh, okay. Um, I did give out, um, there was kind of a sheet that I had that had the supplies, but um, you can also go to their website, docmartins.com, and you can buy the paints there. They also carry them at uh, a lot of the art stores. I think Miningers carries them uh, if you're here in town, and um, some of the other art stores do carry them, but it's probably easier just to go online because we're not going to any of the stores right now, are we? Good question. Now, um, I want to finish that one off too. Go here. I've got to make sure. If I can get my ruler through there without making a mess, I can do it. So, See if I can do this here. I'll go right here. Might not be as good as I thought I was gonna get, but there we go. And every time you stop and start. Now, oh, it didn't work. I gotta make sure I've got juice. That's the other thing. You can always make sure that you have juice in your Sharpies. Let's try this again. No, I think I think this one will, I think this one will work. Okay, here we go. I just used it. You know the sharpies do run out of juice here and there. There. I love the way that works. 
And then I'm just gonna go right around the edge again. This time I'm gonna leave just a little bit more edging to it. Um, you can just enjoy doing a lot of these things from home. You know, one of the things that we're gonna do is at the Foothills Art Center, we're gonna go and do some online classes. We're gonna try that. Um, I think I have one on Tuesday at one o'clock. She's got a note at the bottom here with all that. Oh, good. There's a link there. put a note there. Yay, I love that. Okay, so you can go to the bottom and look and see what's going on at the Foothills Art Center. And there you have another set of trees. Now, in my lesson, I hope you guys all got the lesson because I always like to have lessons because if you forget and I'm not there for you, then you have a lesson that will help you along. Um, I showed you pretty much how to do the first set of trees that we did. Oh, that dried nicely. That one. And you kind of have the steps broken out for you, which is really good. And then this one I used with the basting brush and you can see how the steps go for that. And that way you can remember, oh, what did we do? How did we do this? And um, so what we've done today is we've done trees. We've done summer and we've done fall and winter. I have a whole bunch back here too, and the lesson. And hopefully this is kind of fun. It is snowing out at my house, so this is just a wonderful thing to do. And if you wanted last week's, I think we have that online too. You can check out some of the stuff we did with plastic wrap. There's always a lot of fun ways to paint that make it so much easier for all of us. And these are just fun ways of um, expressing yourself and that you can share by giving it to others if you make cards like this one or just putting them around your house. I know Sherry, when I saw her house, she had them all up in her bookshelf and it really made me happy. So hopefully these will make you happy and you have homework because I only showed you three and I said there were six. So you have three more that you can do. And I hope this was fun. Yeah. And, oh wait, we have a couple of questions? Je Jessica's asking which color of watercolors would be best to buy for beginners. Which color of water, which set yeah. of watercolors? Yeah, for beginners, yeah. Oh, yeah, you could get set one. It comes, yeah, set one, it's easy. Has 12 colors in it and um, it has, you can mix everything with it. And, and even if you're starting out, uh, it's just a great way of expressing yourself and not having to spend a lot of time doing it. I hope that answers your question. Yes. Any other questions before we go? I think we're good. Okay. Well, thank you guys. I hope you um, go to the Foothills Art Center. Their website is foothillsartcenter.org. And they have oodles of cool stuff that are happening when we are not uh, in containment, but they are also starting to add some fun things when we are in containment. So um, go look and see what's going on there. And I hope this was fun and I hope we get to do it again. Thank you so much. And we will do this another time. <laughs>